Well, definitely, it's gonna go down history of the Filipino movie industry as you know the, these. These directors define a time where if you want to know about what happened in the 70s, you watch a Broca film, you watch a Bernal film. If you want to know about the conflicts during that time, you watch their films because they mirrored our society back then. They mirrored our culture. So it's good for education and if you want to know. I mean, for us as a production, that's also our advocacy in a way to present what is happening now, the reality of life during our time. And then you go back 20, 30 years from there and then you realize that wow and then you you know take a look at how it was before all in retrospect so I think that's the contribution of Bernal and, and, and Broca they were able to really uh, uh, showcase Philippines from that time you know politically socially you know so it's a bit uh, intriguing and risky uh -huh. but I wouldn't mind living in that time again you know when we're able to have the voice and it's a it's a way of you know, reminding our audience or uh, our consumers about our state and, you know, so hopefully make you think and ponder about life and about our country. And uh, they were able to uh, uh, remind people of that because of their films. That's why it was full circle for me. When I did uh, La Garista, after a couple of years, I did Manila. I was like, I'd be crying. Uh, Manila really has something, you know, uh, that's close to my heart. I always go full circle. When I, after that, I did Maharaka TV show in Quiapo. And then just last year, I did Last Night, my movie with Din, also in Quiapo, in Manila. So I do a lot of movies in Manila. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm much aware of Lina Broca and uh, their movies in Bernal's and Mel Chonglo. But uh, sayang I didn't get to uh, work with, with uh, Lina Broca and Ishmael Bernal. So I guess I was able to work with direct men. But back then, wala ka concept na ganun. Kailangan ng gawin. Ayusin mo yung art, act, acting mo eh. So of course, as intimidated as you can get, even working with direct Joel Laman, I was just intimidated the whole time. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. working with direct Chito, working with direct Joey. I just wanted to get it done and over with. The great right. directors in the 90s. Yeah. That's really hard. I was really intimidated by all of them. Uh -huh. yeah, even working with Vilma Santos, Mariso Soriano, Christopher De Leon. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a treat. It was a treat. You know, working with my directors, working with Adolf, he had a different approach. Uh, working with Raya, he had a different approach, which worked to my advantage because at least I could uh, separate the two. Because obviously, uh, they had different ways of cinema, uh, executing cinema. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed my process and I worked closely uh, with my directors, both of them. And me as an actor, I always approach it in a way uh, that my director tells me how. And from there, I create my, my character. As much as possible, I didn't want to be influenced by William Martinez's uh, attack mm -hmm. or uh, Philip Salvador, so I made it my own in a way. Yeah, but we stuck to the script. I mean, the story. You know.